I'm Jillian Griggs with the six on your side headlines. A Boise City Council member is working to protect animals in the city of trees, and he's asking his fellow council members to join him in supporting a proposed change to the city's animal code. TJ Thompson calls the city's animal code outdated, saying it has not been updated in decades, meaning the Humane Society has to rely on Idaho code. Thompson wants to improve the definition of animal cruelty to include common sense practices, which are not currently in the code. Wave Techs are putting the finishing touches on Phase 2 of Boise's Whitewater Park as they gear up for the grand opening this Thursday. The JA and Catherine Albertson Family Foundation is offering three new features for kayakers and surfers to enjoy. The new park connects to Astor Simplot Park and will have an open area for people to relax and hang out near the Boise River. The City of Mountain Home has something to celebrate. Nearly 100 volunteers spent their Saturday building Hacker Middle School's first ever Ever playground. Mountain Home Mayor Rich Sykes worked right alongside those volunteers in the summer heat, praising their dedication. The project was made possible through the school, city, and county entities acquiring more than $100,000 in grant money. The school will host a grand opening next Tuesday. All right, now let's take a look at our Monday forecast with Rachel Garceau. Hey, Rachel. Hey there, Jillian. Well, anyone looking to hit the playground today, hopefully we'll uh, be out in about early as by this afternoon, we have scorching heat that will set in and send most most of us running for the air conditioning or maybe your favorite splash pad or watering hole, maybe even the Boise River. Temperatures likely topping 100 degrees across the entire Treasure Valley today. 101 is my forecast high for Boise. 103 in Ontario, up near 100 out in the Magic Valley and even in our mountain valleys. With that mix of sun and clouds in play, we'll see upper 80s to low 90s for places like McCall, Haley and Stanley. Now we have enough moisture streaming in from the southwest to warrant the chance Chance of some late day thunderstorms, not a lot of precipitation expected with these storms, but some dry lightning and some gusty outflow winds that has sparked fire weather concerns. So a fire weather watch is in place for the Owyhee Mountains all the way east through Twin Falls until about 10 o'clock this evening and then some heat advisories in place for eastern Idaho because of the scorching conditions. Tonight, no relief from the heat as those lows will once again only dip down into the low 70s. Tomorrow, still up near 100 in Boise with partly cloudy skies. Slightly more bearable Wednesday as cooler air comes in and drops us to 90 for the middle of the week. For your very latest news and weather headlines, remember you can always visit 6onyourside.com.